this video we're going to be highlighting the uh, the anterior forearm so the anterior forearm uh, these muscles uh, typically uh, aid in moving the wrist flexing the wrist and the fingers uh, this is one of my favorite <clears throat> parts because these are the muscles uh, that are primarily responsible for uh, keeping rock climbers on the wall okay so uh, most of these muscles uh, their points of attachment origin their origin is on the uh, anterior surface of the medial epicondyle of the humerus uh, if you're having trouble visualizing that you know I recommend that you go back into the textbook and uh, and remind yourself on the bone where that is <clears throat> uh, these muscles are, are uh, because they have a common in, uh, origin point uh, this this point here is known as a common flexor tendon uh, this is basically the elbow joint but uh, again, these muscles uh, that we're going to highlight today are typically uh, are for gripping or keeping yourself on the wall uh, when you're rock climbing. So, um, so for the first muscle that we're going to uh, go into, it's the, so there we have highlighted the um, the flexor carpi uh, radialis. So this muscle is a fairly large muscle on the anterior part of the forearm, and as you can see, it's kind of running down the uh, the radial aspect of the of the forearm. So it's, again, its point of origin is on the medial epicondyle of the humerus, and it inserts itself uh, on the base of the second and third metacarpal. So this aids in flexing and abducting the wrist. And then moving down the line, we're going to go over from our radial, uh, uh, our flexor carpi radial radialis to our flexor carpi ulnaris. Okay, so the flexor carpi ulnaris, its point of origin like the other is at the um, <clears throat> at the medial epicondyle and uh, this muscle helps in flexing and abducting the wrist as well okay so from there we're gonna go to another uh, superficial muscle called the palmaris longus now something interesting about this muscle is that um, roughly 16 percent of the population uh, does not have this muscle uh, this muscles insertion over here at the wrist is not actually uh, inserting itself in a bone or a ligament it's actually inserted uh, on the skin itself so you know again it, it helps in flexing the wrist but if you are missing this bone I mean this muscle uh, you're okay obviously because 16 percent of the population doesn't have it and um, you know that's due to genetics and you know, you're okay without it so moving on from the palmaris longus, we're going to go down to the uh, flexor digitorum superficialis. So this muscle, as you can see, has quite a responsibility with uh, flexing digits uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So one of the primary muscles in dealing, when you're rock climbing, after a while, if, especially if you're just pulling yourself up with, by the arm, uh, this is usually the first muscle to go. It gets exhausted. It's a small, a relatively small muscle, so uh, it can uh, it can achieve ATP fatigue rather quickly if uh, if your technique in rock climbing is a little off, or maybe you're at a, a little bit out of shape in rock climbing. So it divides itself, and it goes through the carpal tunnel, and it divides it itself into the four tendons uh, for the uh, for the digits, flexing the digits. So. Uh, just take the just to take a step back. The palmaris longus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the palmaris longus and the um, flexor digitorum superficialis. Uh, that way we can expose the flexor digitorum profundus muscle. Okay. So I remove the uh, palmaris longus and the flexor digitorum superficialis. So you can kind of see that I've removed the muscle, so you, I can now have a deeper, more profound look into the forearm. And the muscle that I'm going to highlight there is the flexor digitorum profundus. So above that was the digi flexor digitorum superficialis. Anytime you have a name of superficialis, that's a hint that there is another muscle that, that is uh, below that or deeper than that with the same function. And as you can see, the profundus uh, muscle, same function. It's it's goes into the carpal tunnel and it splits into digits one, uh, two, three, four, and five and it also aids in closing those digits or flexing those digits so when you're gripping a rock you're gripping a pencil, weights, whatever the case may be uh, these are the two muscles that are aiding in that and you, as you can imagine when you're pulling yourself up from anything or pulling up something heavy you need more than just one muscle group 
So these digits have two rather large muscle groups helping them out, those being the flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus. So for the last finger, we have the thumb. We haven't really talked about anything that uh, moves the thumb, and that's this muscle, another prof a profound muscle in the forearm, as you can kind of see, giving it a 3D view. Okay, so this muscle uh, is called the flexor pollicis longus. Okay, and this muscle helps, goes through the carpal tunnel, and it aids in pulling on the ligament of the thumb, flexing the thumb, uh, giving you a, a fully closed, um, a fully closed fist. Okay, so that does it for the muscles of the arm.